welcome. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Jared. And I'm Morgan. And this is Kids on Online. Yes, it is. Okay, so in Kids on Online, we love to do turn and talk. So mm -hmm. I have a turn and talk question for you guys. If you could be known for anything, like literally anything in the world, people, when they think of you, they think of, oh, that's the person who, whatever. What would it be? What would you pick? Jared, what would you say? Well, you know the guy who is known for like going up and hugging and snuggling with lions? No, I don't know. What? That guy. He's like, no. He like goes out into the, the African grass and then like, do, 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 do. This lion's running at him and then it comes up and they just hug each other. And that's he's like, cool. you know, wrestling. You know, I'd do the same thing but with bears. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. I would probably say I'm obsessed with chocolate chip cookies. So maybe having like the. Oh best chocolate chip cookie recipe in the world. That's I feel like one. that would be pretty cool. Okay, you guys' turn. Turn and talk to someone in the room with you. What is something that you would love to be known for? Mm -hmm. So, we're kicking off a brand new series called Legacy. Legacy. Uh, does anyone know what a legacy actually is. So a legacy is something that is handed down uh, from the past. Uh, for example, someone's legacy might be that they cared for animals or for that their family is known for uh, being kind and generous. That's a legacy. Yeah. So we're gonna spend this month talking about the legacy that Jesus has left for us, which is the Holy Spirit. But first, let's take a moment to worship God.
Okay, so before Jesus returned to heaven, he promised the disciples that he would give them something that would help guide them as they spread the good news. And that gift was the Holy Spirit. So all month long, we're gonna be learning about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can kind of be a little hard to understand, so I want to show you guys something. Jared, can you help me out? I sure can. Okay, so I have this balloon. I'm gonna give you this balloon, okay. and I have this bib. Now, I want you to get the balloon into the bib. Oh. Go for it. Oh, I Try didn't it out. Do that. Yeah, not quite there. And there, there you we go. go. Nice Got and done. It. Okay, so we're gonna do this again, except I'm gonna use my mouth to blow a little bit of air, and we're gonna see if you can still get the balloon in the bib. Go for it. Oh. No go. You failed. I'll let you try again. Maybe it was just like one bad turn or something. Nope. A little spit Closer. came out with that one. Woo. Okay, so I have a couple questions for you guys. Why was it so difficult to get the balloon into the bin the second time around? Well, you were, you were blowing on it. Yep, that's true. But could you see the wind and the air coming out of my mouth? No. No, except for the little piece of spit that came out. You yeah. probably saw that. Okay, another question. How do you know where that the wind was there? How did you know? Well, it was affecting things, and I could kind of I could kind of feel it when I was I had the balloon over here. Mm -hmm. It's true, and your balloon didn't go in the wind. So, yeah. okay, so another question. When you go outside on a windy day, can you see the wind? No, mm -hmm. I can't. No. I can't either. So how do you know that the wind is blowing? Well, I mean, the trees rustle, and mm -hmm. I can feel it, and I can see it changing things. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> yeah, so I guess the Holy Spirit is a lot like the wind then. Mm -hmm. uh, coming from a fan or, or the wind outside on a windy day, um, even though we can't see it, it's there. Yeah. Just like the wind from a fan moved the balloon, the Holy Spirit moves us. Uh, the Holy Spirit guides and travels with us, helping us when we need to make important choices. That's true. So today we're going to be hearing about one of Jesus' friends named Philip. Philip was a disciple or a follower of Jesus. So go and grab your Bible and open up to Acts chapter 8, and we're going to start in verse 26. We'll grab ours. Mm-hmm. You got them? Mm -hmm. You got them yet? Okay, am I reading or are you reading? Doesn't matter. Okay, I can read. Sounds great. Okay, verse 26, chapter eight. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, go south to the road, the desert road that goes down from Jeru Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out and on his way, he met an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official, which means queen of the, Ethi or, sorry, an important official in charge of all the treasury of Cam. Ken Dake, I think? I don't know, weird um, word. Which means queen of the Ethiopians. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and on his way, on his way home was sitting in his chariot reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. The spirit told Philip, go to the chariot, go to that chariot and stay near it. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you're reading? Philip asked. How can I? So he, he said, unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Do you want to start there? Sure. This is the passage of scripture the eunuch was reading. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent. So he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived of justice. Who can speak of his descendants? For his life was taken from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, Tell me, please, who is a prophet talking about himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, here is water. What can stand in the way of my being baptized? And he gave orders to stop the chariot. Then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away and the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Philip, however, appeared at Azotus, another weird word, 
and traveled about preaching the gospel in all the towns until he reached Caesarea. So the Spirit of God told Philip to go to this place in the middle of nowhere. And Philip didn't ask why. He just agreed to go just like that. When he arrived, he met a person from Ethiopia. And this guy was really important because he was the treasurer. That's the person in charge of all the money. Uh, but he was the treasurer for the queen of Ethiopia. That's a big job. Yeah. <laughs> The man brought with him on his trip to Jerusalem a big part of the Hebrew Scriptures, which is what we call the Old Testament, and specifically the book of Isaiah. He was reading it out loud. Even though he was well educated and worked for the queen, the man still didn't understand what he was reading. It didn't make any sense to him. Have you guys ever read something that you didn't understand? I know I have, <laughs> many times. Well, Philip heard the man reading and approached him and asked, do you understand what you're reading? You see, Philip had heard the, Spirit, the Holy Spirit's voice telling him to help someone. And even though he was a little bit nervous, he helped the man anyway, because Philip knew that this was the Holy Spirit who wanted him to do it. Hey, old chicken nuggets, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hi there, kiddos. It's so good to see y'all today. I've had an awesome week. Earlier this week, I went to my Maymaw's house to see all the things she had in her basement. Oh, don't worry, she told me I couldn't. She said there was a lot of things in there that she would pass down to me one day. As soon as I walked in, I found a dollar on the ground. Turns out it was just a piece of chocolate, though, which was awesome. Then I found a list of New Year's resolutions I made a year ago. New Year's resolutions are things that you want to get better at or complete by the end of the next year. I used to write them and send them to my Mama ever since I was a kid. Turns out she kept them all in one box. And oh man, did I make some great resolutions. Mind if I read them out loud? I'll read them anyway. I put them all on the interweb. <laughs> Number one, gain five pounds. You see, a lot of people want to lose weight, but I figure I should gain some weight. Couple of cheeseburgers and bam, <laughs> I was there. Easiest resolution ever. Number two, quit spending so much money. I did great with this goal. Knocked it out of the park. Sure, maybe because I had no money, but hey, <laughs> I did it. New Year's resolution number three, only believe in what you see. Now this is a good one. You see, I heard that phrase a long time ago from someone very old and very wise. Only believe what you can see. But I feel like I haven't done a good job of that. So let's try. But first I gotta think of things that we believe in that we can't see. All right, gravity. What is gravity? It's what makes everything fall? All right, why well, I refuse to believe in gravity. All right, electricity. All right, I'm gonna look straight up into the lights to prove I don't believe in electricity. Yeah, that's not a good idea. All right, last one, air. Now people say air is super important, but <laughs> you can't even see it. So you heard it here first. I, Carl, do not believe in air. <gasps> What's going on, man? Look, man, it's been a long time, man. How you been doing? Yeah, good, Carl, Carl, I, I, I said, how are you? How are you doing? Carl, Carl, blink twice if you need help, bro. Blink. Carl, breathe, man. Breathe. <sighs> bro, what in the world are you doing? What is, what is going on? I don't believe in air. What do you mean you don't believe in air? Well, I've made the decision. I'm not believing in anything I can't see. <laughs> oh, man. DJ, why are you laughing? I'm sorry, bro. That's just the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> you don't believe in air. Uh, uh, I don't believe. <laughs> you, you're crazy, Carl. You're crazy, man. <laughs> What's so funny? Carl, we have to believe in things we don't see. That's just life. Really? Okay. What about the Holy Spirit? What about it? Well, 
He is something we can't see, and you better believe he's real. Look, open up your Bibles to Acts 8. Should we read it? Let's go! incredible. I mean, you have Philip, right? A man who loves Jesus being told by the Holy Spirit to go south on a road. Then he sees another man from Ethiopia who was reading the book of Isaiah. Yep. And then the Spirit told Philip to go meet him. But the thing is, the Ethiopian couldn't understand what he was reading. So Philip helped him and got to explain the good news of Jesus. Then after a while, they passed a body of water and the Ethiopian realized there's no reason that he has to wait to get baptized. He wanted to make the decision to follow Jesus right then and right there. Right, so they walked down to the water and Philip baptized the Ethiopian. Then out of nowhere, Philip was taken by the Holy Spirit to a completely different place. I know, this is incredible. I guess I was wrong. Oh, you mean about the whole believing only what you can see thing? Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize how powerful the Holy Spirit is. Of course. Jesus promised us that he would send the Holy Spirit when he went up to heaven. The Holy Spirit makes us strong and helps us. Help us how? <laughs> With everything. Like when you're upset, the Holy Spirit will comfort you. When we need wisdom, the Holy Spirit will give it to us. And when we need help understanding God better, the Holy Spirit is right there to help. <laughs> That's really good news, because I have a lot of questions about my faith and about God. So the Holy Spirit will help me? Absolutely, Carl. The Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God. Great. <laughs> Wait, that's our big idea. Today's big idea is the Holy Spirit helps us to want to know God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two... Three, the Holy the Spirit Holy helps us want to know God. Yeah. God. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Hey, TJ, I really like that story. Man, me too, man. It's one of my favorites. I can see why, but you know, TJ, I'm still not sure on this whole electricity thing. Really? Why? I don't know. It just seems like kind of suspicious. Whoa, what, what happened? Well, I didn't believe in electricity, so I just stopped paying the electric bill to see what would happen. Turns out it gets really dark. Oh, okay, yeah, that that makes sense. <laughs> hey kids, y'all have a good week. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Okay, so a little story about the Holy Spirit. So when I was in college, I lived in New York for pretty much my entire life and all my friends were there and all my family was there and when I was in college we found out that we were moving to Texas which if you know anything about the United States <laughs> New York and Texas are very very far from each other and very at the time places. very different places very different weather it was crazy and at the time it was really hard I cried a lot when I first found out I cried a lot when we were driving from New York to Texas I cried a lot when I got there um, but honestly, once we got there, it ended up being the perfect place for our family. God knew what was coming and he allowed so many really awesome things to happen. I ended up getting a job there that I really love and I met a lot of awesome people and it really worked out. And just that the Holy Spirit kind of knew that and guided us there. And then in the end was able to reveal that to us of like, hey, this is why I brought you here. It was really comforting, but it's kind of crazy that the Holy Spirit kind of knows the whole time, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So the man from Ethiopia, was looking to understand God better. That's why God sent Philip to help the man to understand, or to answer the questions and understand more about God. So we can't see the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but we can see what the Holy Spirit is doing in our lives. Yeah. Our memory verse this month is Romans 8, 14. And it says, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. I love that we're the children of God and that He gave us the Holy Spirit to lead us. The Holy Spirit pulls us closer to God and helps us know Him better. So let's pray and thank God for the gifts of the Holy Spirit and His leading in our lives. God, thank you that you know better than us. And like with Morgan and her move, that you knew what their family needed, even if they didn't know it. 
but that they trusted you and knew that you were going to take care of them. And I pray that all these kids, that they know that if they trust you and they are led by the Holy Spirit, that you know what's best and things will turn out well. Amen. Amen. All right, it's game time! Game time! And we're gonna play some games! So, <laughs> we're gonna play a game called Cup of Hands! Cup of Hands! And as you may have heard of Cup of Soup! Cup of Soup! And as you can see, we here have Cup of Hands! Cup of Hands! Cup of Hands! So I've got Cup of Hands, two cups of hands. Say it one more time! <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know the name of the game yet? It's called Cup of Hands. <laughs> Okay, explain the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I've got two cups of hands, and Morgan's got two cups of hands, and we're gonna use our cups of hands to try to stack dice on top of each other. And then once we do that, then we're gonna put another cup oh, with a ball in it and <laughs> on our cup of hands, and we're gonna try to do it that way too. So it's gonna be really tough. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have 45 seconds and we're gonna play two rounds. Second round will be harder. So yes. I'm gonna start this timer and then we're just gonna see who can stack the most dice and then whoever does wins. Um, also, How are you gonna start I that? want you guys to pick a team this time. I feel like sometimes we just watch and we don't pick team, oh, but I wanna team. know who you're cheering for. So if you're on team Jarrett, let's hear it. I don't hear anything. If you're on team Morgan, let's hear it. That's right, that's right, okay. All right, I think you ready? I, I think there was more to it. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see who wins. All right, ready, ready. set, go. Okay. Um. Oh, oh no. Okay, all right, let's add some color variety. Ooh, that one just like gracefully fell for me. Oh, oh. The last one. Okay, we've got 23 seconds. I just sense that my tower is gonna crumble. Ah, no! Watch your dogs no. don't crumble my tower. Oh. oh no, I'm letting my fans down. Woo! Ah. Ah. I think I gotta get a red one. No! <laughs> and that's... <laughs> Cup of hands can't stop right. these hands. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make this round a little harder. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just need more of a challenge. Or maybe I'm yeah, just bad at it. you just need more of a challenge. So you're gonna need to grab your extra cup if you wanna grab it. It looks like it's about to be tossed to you. <laughs> and that worked well. Okay, so what this looks like is we've got a cup and then a ping pong ball in here. So not that I need this to be any harder, but we're gonna. Oh, It'll... <laughs> How's it going over there? A couple okay. of hands. You got it. <laughs> you need that people. <laughs> <laughs> I got my. Ball As you here. can see, this game is going really, really well. <laughs> it's a it. show, people. You it's a it show. All right. See, it's in there. All right, you about ready? I'm ready. Ten years later. Okay. Hey. You ready? Three, Ready. two, one, go. Oh, absolutely not. This is just a disaster. I feel like it's just gonna slip off as soon as I lift up. I feel like there happening. is a technique, and I just haven't had the time to like figure it out. Okay. I just need to be patient. I just oh, need one. Oh, oh. I just need one. Ah. All right, here we go. We got 12 seconds. No, 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 no. Ah! It's over! Whoa, you almost knocked out my tower! Well, I got four. Oh, man. Four. Oh, well. This looks like one, but there's four fingers underneath here. And it's my cup of hand. <laughs> well, he definitely won. I could not master the dice tower, but these are really, really stuck to you. <laughs> Sweaty hands now. Ah, well, that was fun. We're glad you guys were here. 
and make sure you tune in next week for week two of Legacy. Legacy. Bye, guys. <laughs>